е един от най-успешните румънски артисти в последните години. Той е продуцент, композитор и изпълнител и може да се похвали средица хитове. Песните, които изпълнява или композира за други, винаги попадат в първите места на класациите, а популярността му се простира далеч отвъд границите на родината му. Кристиан Тарча е роден на 17 април 1993 г. в Констанца, Румъния, където работи и до днес. Увлича се по музиката от съвсем малък и на 14 вече композира професионално първите си песни. На 18 годишна възраст създава своя лейбъл Face Music, в който привлича изключително талантливи млади артисти. Има десетки успешни колаборации в кариерата си, а напоследък работи и с български артисти, за които създава музика. Човек остава с впечатлението, че до каквото и да се докосне, то се превръща в хит. И наистина, за своите 25 години е постигнал забележителни успехи. Той обаче вярва, че не бива да спира да работи нито за миг и мечтае да реализира още по-големи успехи на музикалната сцена. При едно от неговите гостувания в София, екипът на Балканика Music Television се срещна с него, за да си поговори за любовта към музиката и мечтите. Няма как да скрием впечатлението си, че въпреки международната слава, Крис си остава един скромен човек, който те поразява с непринудното си поведение и харизма. С какво обаче предстои да ни изненада, разберете от самия него. Happy to meet with Monar and welcome to Bulgaria, first of all. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to meet you and I'm really happy to be here at Volcanica TV for my first time actually. Yes, it's, it's our first. It's not really the first time, but it's our first meeting. The videos have been played in Volcanica TV, but yeah, it's our first time meeting, so yes, happy to be here. Yes, for sure your videos are one of the most favorite to our viewers. So I'm really happy. <laughs> we are very happy that we meet and uh, we're gonna tell our viewers more about you, about your story. And let's start with that. How did you get passionate about music? When was the moment when you realized that you wanted to become a musician? Well, I was a, smer a very, very small human being. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I think, uh, three years old. Uh, I had a keyboard, which uh, my family bought it, my dad bought it, and um, they didn't know I could play the keyboard. I, I was barely talking, speaking words, but one day they found out that I was playing something on the keyboard, that I was listening to the TV. And they were like, oh, he has uh, musical abilities and hearing, oh, we should support him and we should uh, send him to, you know, kindergarten, music, uh, music high school, music college. And that's how uh, things started um, to develop me. And I started to learn about reading music, sheet, and um, playing instruments, playing piano, playing drums. So that really was a big part of the process in uh, becoming a producer. And a producer, I started to make my own music around when I was 14 years old. I uh, just uh, got the first software that uh, I saw. I think it was Cubase or FL Studio. I don't know which one was, but right now I'm working on FL Studio. <laughs> and I started playing with it. You know, I didn't understand that well. And uh, in time, I really uh, realized that I, I like to compose. I like to improvise. I mean, at school, You know, I needed to study a lot of classic music, at piano, but I was not playing it as on the sheet paper. I was always improvising. And that was like one of the main reasons that people were saying, you're improvising so much. I think you have uh, some composing abilities. And I started composing for myself because I didn't have any voices, I didn't have any vocals, I was my own instrument, let's say like that. And at 16 years old I had uh, my first number one in Turkey. It was an amazing feeling, it was uh, for me the first uh, push uh, that uh, was like, hey, see, you can do it, do more. And from that point I started to work more, I started to sign artists, When I was 18 years old, I first uh, signed Caitlyn, then Brianna, then Yarina, Starla, and Daria, and so on. 
And what inspires you to make songs now? Um, I think daily experiences from life and um, I don't know, whatever I see, whatever I like, whatever I eat, drink, any, everything inspires me. I don't know, it's just uh, every song it's uh, a moment, uh, energy uh, and uh, every song is different because uh, every song is like uh, different feelings, different moments, different vibes, different artists, influences, etc, etc. So I think everything around us really inspires me. I'm caught up in this moment, feels like I won't freeze. I'm very curious, uh, how did you, what is behind your artistic name Monoir? What does it mean? I've always <laughs> wondered. <laughs> I think everybody wonders, it's like, um, you know, I had the project and I still have it, Chris Trace, where I sing and where I um, do a lot of uh, volcanic influences. And at the point I was like making a lot of music, but I could not release it under Chris Trace. They were like, the songs were too different. And uh, I was hmm, really wishing to have a new project in which I could release everything that I really like, you know, and not only just sing, I just do music. And I was, you know, finding a lot of names, but none of them was like that one that I really wanted. And at a point I was talking with one of my friends and I was like, hey man, I want to make a project, I want to make more tracks, but I need a name. And he just says to me like, Monoir. And I'm like, what's this? He's like, nothing man, it's a name, you ask for it. This is the name, you like it? And I'm like, are you crazy? Is this even existing in this? No. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Monoir shall be, and I really like it. I think it fits me. It's like a bit of noir, it's a bit of black, a bit of... You know, I, I, I find this name very classy and really fits my personality because I'm a really simple person. I'm a really, you know, I like to, you know, act normal, dress normal and this really fits exactly how I am, I think. Uh, you said you're making different music, but if you had to pick up three words to describe your music, the most distinguishing features, what would be these three words? Wow, such an interesting uh, uh, topic. Mm, I think, first of all, uh, authenticity, um, energy, and uh, maybe, let's say, uh, traditional. Because I'm always trying to keep in each track a little bit of what really defined us, you know, us Balkans, because I'm a Balkan, you're a Balkan, we're living in this uh, trace zone, because that's also the name of my label, the, the name it actually comes from the trace yeah. zone, you know, the Balkans, so yeah, I think this is the, these are the main three keywords for what I'm doing. Actually, you use uh, elements from folk music. Yes. And your probably most famous song, uh, the violin song, uh, you actually used a Bulgarian yes. folk song. How did you find that song? Well, uh, my friend, uh, my good friend Osaka, just uh, sent me the, the sample and he was like, What do you think about this sample? Should we make a remix or something? And I was like, I love this. We should make a track. We should make an original track with this because it's so amazing and uh, that's how I started to make the violin song. Met with Diana who's the violinist, played the violin and we really liked the ideas how they were blending together. Then we met with Brianna and we start writing the lyrics and at the end of the day we got this uh, special song which was called the violin song and uh, you know really inspires me. I really like the folk and I think there are a lot of similarities between Bulgarian folklore and Romanian folklore, they have a lot of things in common. What was the feeling uh, when you know that you had uh, your first international hit? 
Well, uh, I had experiences before with some tracks I've worked at, but uh, didn't got the recognized for. And uh, having my first uh, big hit as a project was, uh, was an amazing feeling. I was so happy that my music was finally going to the people, was finally going out in the light, you know, and uh, I was, at the end of the day, very happy that people were enjoying my work. And I think that's the biggest accomplishment that a producer has. It's not about money, it's not about nothing, it's about people enjoying your work and that's the biggest achievement. So wonder, you're my thunder. I'm falling, I'm crawling, you don't care. Turn to pieces like a disease. Can't fight you, I want me. Lately, you work and with Bulgarian artists like uh, Dara, Ivana, Four Magic, and uh, you get uh, impressions from from them. And uh, can you make a comparison between them and the Romanian artists? You already find similarities, differences, maybe more? Um, there are similarities between Bulgaria and Romania, but between the artists, I don't know if there are a lot of similarities. I really enjoy working with the Bulgarian artists, really. I really, really enjoyed every second I spent in the studio with, with Ivana, with Dara, with uh, Mihaela, with Four Magic, with everybody that I work with, Alma. It's an amazing uh, vibe and opportunity to be with them in the studio. and. Uh, I think they have a lot of potential. Also Romanian, of course, they have a lot of potential, but they're different. I think they're different. As you can see, I keen on working with the with the foreign artists more than with Romanians. Yeah. And uh, actually, Romanian artists made the international breakthrough years ago. Now, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. I yeah, think. yeah, something like that. Now the last two years, I can say that Albanians uh, mm -hmm. do very good steps yes. uh, forward. But uh, do you think now, when you have impression from Bulgarian artists, you said they have potential, but do they have uh, the potential to make an international breakthrough like you did? Yes, yes. Would or is it enough only the good song or maybe something else that we don't have? I think they have everything they need. They have the looks, they have the energy, they have the, the will. And I think it will happen, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of uh, having that right track, which you never know if you have, when you'll have it, if you'll ever have it. You know, it's, it's, the music it's like lottery. You just play, you just make music and one day it will break through. But I think Bulgarian artists have a lot of potential and they're on the way of getting out there in the whole Europe. You, we mentioned that you also work with uh, different artists. How do you choose them? How do you pick them? For sure, there are many talented people, but what's the most important they should have? I think it's a. Uh uh, the authenticity of their voice. It's not about how good you sing or how high you can reach or how good you look. It's about being authentic, about being special, about being unique in the way you sing. I'm really attracted by the vocal timbre. I mean, always when I'm working to, when I'm uh, searching to work with the voice, I always try and see overall would I recognize this voice over 1,000 voices? Is it special? Is it not? So yeah, I think the vocal timbre, the way it sounds, is the most important thing for me. You've made lots of collaborations till now. You're working with foreign artists, but uh, is there an artist from, from the Balkans, it doesn't matter from which country, that you want to make a collaboration with? I think it's... Uh, if we're talking about the Balkans, I think it's Dua Lipa. If we're talking about the Balkans. <laughs> yeah. She's very trending right now and I, I would totally love to, to work with her, but who knows? Who knows, yeah. You know, sure. we're doing music, we're working, so maybe one day our worlds just uh, meet and we'll just do a track. You never know. Lots of people 
people maybe don't know that you're also besides uh, making the great music that you make and uh, uh, performing as an artist, you also shoot in the videos. Yes. <laughs> yes. How do you get the ideas for the well, videos? Um, uh, having my own label from when I was 18 years old, I, I, I started on this idea of uh, working with my own artist, uh, getting new talents, which I invest in work, music, and uh, you know, having no budgets at the beginning was really pushing me forward to try and do everything by myself. So that's how I started to shoot also the videos. And in time, this actually became a great passion for me. I really like it, but now I'm trying to, you know, uh, evolve a little bit and just uh, uh, make the team bigger because it's very hard for me. I have uh, seven artists and I need to make the music for them. I need to make the music for uh, other artists, see all the Bulgarian artists. And it's kind of hard to make <laughs> them all, you sure. know, In mixing, mastering. I do everything by myself. So, but I really like shooting videos, really. It, it's kind of uh, that hobby that really relaxes me. It just disconnects me when I'm there shooting the video. I really enjoy it. Even Lost in Istanbul, it's a video we shot in five hours, six hours. It was just a pure pleasure shooting uh, Brianna and Caitlin, uh, watching one of them by the, by the streets. It was amazing. I know also that you are very keen on photography. You have to, if you have to pick up, let's say, again, three photos that describe you and your wife, what would be the? Hmm. Three photos that describe me and my life. Yeah. Wow. I really don't know. I would see a photo of me in the mountainside. Okay. That's one of the, the places I love to be and disconnect all the time. I would really love to have a studio in the mountainside. It would be probably a picture with me and Max Martin because that's one of the main goals that I have in life to meet that guy and work with him. And the other picture is like a picture with me and all the family and the artists because uh, I think family is important in business, in life, if you have family, if you have friends that really believe in you, I think it's a very good uh, thing and it's a very strong connection that you need in your life to be able to go forward and be successful. I guess that you don't have a lot of a lot of free time, but uh, what else do you like to do? I like to play games. <laughs> I like to drive the car. I like to just uh, uh, walk, uh, just have a long walk near the beach. It's amazing. But that disconnects me and recharges me with good energy. I like to, you know, go to the mountainside and just get a big hit of fresh air. I, I'm a normal person. I mean, I'm not that. Oh, I'm going to Bitsa or I'm going to clubs or nah, I like to just chill around and mainly focus on what I need to do because uh, I don't have that much time of relaxing because I'm working on getting uh, at a point, you know, to getting in a big place. So if you want to get there, you need to work for it. You don't need to take big breaks. <laughs> How do you imagine your life in 10 years time? Really, I don't know. I think uh, it, it would be just in the studio with hopefully my artist, which will get bigger and bigger with all the artists I've worked with, which also they will be bigger. And why not with people that uh, today I dream on working with. So yeah, I, I hope for a billboard in the next 10 years. I think that's one of the main uh, wishes for any producers. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. But I, I just need to work, I just need to do music and we'll see where we'll be in 10 years. It's like, mm. you know, time passes very fast, but you never know what happens. Why 
what else to expect from you? You released uh, maybe a month ago yes. Shadows, your with collaboration Brianna. with Brianna. What, what else are you preparing for your film? I have another track with Brianna which we're preparing. We shot a video on and uh, I don't have a lot of surprises. I have new music for Yarina, I have a new uh, new project. I will, I will prepare a lot of things which I would probably not want to talk right now and just surprise you guys in a short time but um, preparing a lot of tracks even with, uh, with the Bulgarian artist I'm not saying with who but you probably will see and hear and uh, you know work and work and work and music yes. music is part of my life and I can't get away without it can I ask you to wish something to the viewers of Volcanica Music Television and of course your fans First of all, thank you very much for listening to our music and for supporting it. For us, it's so important and it means a lot. And for that, I really love you and I really appreciate you all. Thank you. If you hear me shout, 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 come get me now. now.